So this weekend is International Women's Day, and in honor of the global celebration, we turn to a local play produced with an all-female cast and crew. It's called Lysistrata, and it's your last weekend to see the production. Joining me now to talk more about the performances that go into an ancient Greek comedy, Stephanie Santiago and Katie Johnson. You guys play big roles. So what exactly is this play about? This play, more than anything, is just a story about women who are banding together to take a stand and make their voices heard in a time of political unrest, which uh, is something that I think is still very relatable. Yeah, is that going on yeah. today? <laughs> no. Yeah, believe it or not, this is uh, this show was originally produced in 411 BC and uh, still incredibly timely in the year 2020. It's kind of uh, crazy how timely it is. Unfortunately, how many years later? yeah. <laughs> Still very relevant, but this particular story, uh, it takes place in ancient Greece during the Peloponnesian War, which has been going on for 20 years at the time of the, when the play it's starts. It's a long war. Mm -hmm. It's a long war, and one woman, Lysistrata, has had enough of the war, so she gets all of the women in Greece to agree to withhold certain romantic privileges from their men until the men finally agree to sign a peace treaty and end the war. What? <laughs> What a production! How Solid does it? Plan, right? Yeah. How does it feel to be such to take on that role? Um, it was daunting at first, um, but we have such a great director, and it's been so empowering, um, especially with the all-female cast. Mm -hmm. um, I just given the opportunity, our director Kristen Livingston, uh, she just had an amazing turnout for auditions. I mean, over thirty talented, wonderful wow. women came out to audition. And so it really just supported her vision for an all-female show. And it just, to have that, just to promote that female solidarity is so important right now. And just to, just to show, you know, the power that we have. Yeah, and this play really goes. And who are these amazing women behind us? This is our 29-woman cast and crew that have worked together tirelessly to mount the uh, incredible production that we're a part of. What is it like to work with this female all-crew? Because let's be real, in many parts of our lives, you're not going to work with just females. You, you, that doesn't happen. It, it doesn't. It's <laughs> been surprisingly drama-free. <laughs> I mean, you would think, oh, wow, all females, like, that's, that's going to be nuts. But everyone gets along. We help each other. I mean. So loving and supportive and just a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. And you yeah. can tell just from you guys the way. <laughs> so this is the last weekend to see the play. Where can you right. see it? And so we are uh, at the Five and Dime, which is downtown. We are sold out tonight, but there are still tickets available tomorrow night, Saturday, and Sunday, which is International Women's Day. Woo! <laughs> what better way to close out this show? Um, and you can get tickets online at the fiveanddime.org. Perfect. And then I think we want to get a little sneak peek. Sneak peek? Absolutely. All right. I'm going to step out of the way and you guys take it away. All right. I tell you, Kalanika, if Greece is to be saved, it is the women who must do it. The women? <laughs> Well, then Greece will be a long time being saved. It will be saved by us or be forever ruined. But even so, Lysistrata, what makes you think that the women can do what our great statesmen have failed to do? You know, they always try for peace. They say they try. Well, they are men with great minds. They think of everything. <laughs> they make us believe they and do. And when their great peace conferences fail, they can go to war. But we, Lysistrata, we know nothing of great affairs. We sit there waiting for the men to come and tell us what they've done, dressed in our transparent robes of red silk, flowing about so that we can hardly walk with flowers in our hair and embroidered slippers. You have just recited the catalog of our most powerful weapons. Weapons? The filmy red tunic. Yes. The intoxicating perfume in your dainty slippers. Yes. Your lotions and your rouge and your provocative flowing robe. What about robe? them? Why, these are the weapons by which every woman can make the men of Greece lay down their arms. Why, Lysistrata, if that were true, I'd get myself a dress so thin I'd be embarrassed even before my husband. I ask you now, if we have such power, should we not use it? 
Well, we should indeed. Oh, Lysistrata, you have hit on a really grand idea. Each one of us will get new clothes and jewels and lovely perfumes, and we'll seduce our husbands, and the war will end. <laughs> Who would have thought it? <laughs> There's more than that to do, but to commence with, that is enough. I tell you, Kalanika, we can do it just as I say. And ought not every honest Grecian woman come to help us? Uh. <clears throat>